So the wheel size is 26 inches and the tire width is 2.35 inches. Uh, we've got disc brakes in the front and disc brakes in the rear. Now, I do like a comfy seat and this one, look, is squidgy. It's lovely and squidgy. And also this one flips up, if I can press the lever there, it flips up so you can pull the battery out. I'll show that in a bit. Uh, let's put that back like that. Now you can see there's springs underneath as well. Push that down, nice and comfy. And also, it's got a suspension post. So a nice squishy seat and a suspension post with springs underneath. Lovely. So looking down at the battery, you can see that it's removable. So if I lift the seat up like so, you press the key in, turn it that way like that, so it unlocks it. Then you can oh, pick the handle up like that, pull the battery up like so. Now, on the battery, it says that it's 36 volts and it's 15 amp hours and 540 watt hours. So that's the battery. And it's easy to put back in too. So let's just turn it around so we can get in the right position. Just line it up on there like that. Go down like so. Give it a bit of a push like that. Turn it. And there we go. Okay, so let's have a look up on the handlebars. You've got the twist throttle there, look. Come across, you've got the seven-speed Shimano. You've got your cable operated disc brakes. You've got your little bell. <laughs> go across down here. Uh, then we come to the display. We've got the display there. You've got a plus and a minus on off button, another grip there, cable operated disc brakes, and it has got the cut off switch inside. So let's, uh, let's put, turn the key and we'll have a look at the display. So where's the key? By here we give the key a little turn, like so, and then hold down the on button for a few seconds and it should come into life. There we go. And you've got your speed there, which is set to miles per hour. You've got your trip, your auto, your battery. Um, now, I think there's only three settings. I think it's uh, one, two, three. And three is high. It's, it says on there, medium and low. And then if you do, ho if you want the lights on, you hold down that plus button there. You can see the light switch has come on there. If I put my finger out the way, you can see it better. <laughs> and there we go. There's the front light there. The front light is on. And we'll go to the back here. And it has got a backlight as well there. Now, I did pull the brakes and there isn't a, there's no brake light, it's just a, a light. So we've got a back light there and we've got the front light there, which is integrated into the bike, which is nice. Right, okay, come into the rear of the bike and we've got this rack here. Now, this rack does feel, it feels very, very strong. I'm not quite sure what the weight is. Sometimes they put the weight on these, they're marked on you, but I can't see it on you. So if I find out, I'll put the weight on the screen now. You can see that the hub motor is tucked away down there in the rear wheel. I think let's get out on the open road. Right, okay, here we go to the left of us up the hill. So let's go up the old hill challenge. Here we go. This is the sort of the uh, the lower part of the hill. Let's try this tree. Um, Let's watch this car in it. Right. Let's try just the uh, pedal assist. I'm in pedal assist level two. It's quite nice. It is quite nice. It feels like uh, it does come in. Is it, let me just press a bit harder. See what it's like. Yeah, it does feel like it's a. Let me go on level one. Let me go on level one. Let me just check it out a minute. Right, so level one is. It still gives you quite a bit of assistance. It's still quite nice. Let me stop pedaling a minute and pedal again. I think it feels like it's a cadence sensor to me, but um, sort of the, once you start pedaling, the power comes fully in. So let's try level two, and it does make it level two makes it really easy. It, it makes it super easy. Let's try level three up a hill. Here we go, <laughs> and uh, it's. It's starting to go faster than my legs can push it now, so it must be a cadence sensor. We come into the tunnel. Here we go through the tunnel. Don't think there's any drips today or water because it's been dry for a while. There we go. Oh, it's very cold in this tunnel. <laughs> right, there we go. It's a lovely day today though, nice and warm. Still cold in the tunnel. But anyway, we come into the steeper part of the hill now. So my legs are turning, but I'm, I'm not actually putting any pressure on the 
chain, if you know what I mean. So, any cars coming behind me? So look. Right, let's go again, pedal again, get some power up. Now we come into the steep part of the hill. I'm in level assist three. I'm in gear three. It's a seven speed Shimano and I'm in gear three. And um, we're doing 13 miles per hour. Let's see if we can, right now, now I'm doing about 12 miles per hour and I'm putting, ooh, a tiny bit of effort in. Let's try just the throttle. That's the throttle on his own now. I'm not pedaling, I'm not pedaling at all. We're doing 10 miles an hour. This is on the steep part of the hill, about nine, 10 miles an hour. It's taking me up here. Like I said, I did say earlier on, it's a 36 volt, 15 amp hour battery. So it should have a decent amount of range. Even when you lose the throttle, it should have a decent amount of range, but it is getting me up here. I'm not pedaling at all, look. I'm not puffed out. I can talk without getting puffed out. So uh, let's have a look. We're still doing, ooh, 11, 12 miles an hour. And we are on this quite a steep part. But um, let's get further, but let's try pedaling again. See what pedaling's like on level three. It is it's easy, it's easy. <laughs> and I'm in gear three, so I got another, I got another two bigger cogs to go, so. Uh, and I gotta say, it's a very comfy bike to, to ride. It's very, it, it is a very comfy bike to ride. Let's pull over by the old cattle grid a minute. Right, okay, it got up the hill quite easy. I was quite surprised, actually. It was very easy. Now, I gotta say, I did say earlier on, this seat looks comfortable. I can tell you, it's very, 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 very comfortable. That's very comfortable. And the, the seating position on this bike is, I gotta say, I, I, like, I, I do like handlebars a little bit higher than the seat. I don't like be, being crouched over, but I gotta say, this bike, suits me perfectly it's very comfortable very comfortable um but it did it got up there easy and we're gonna go i'm gonna go up there if you see my videos before i go right to the top of the hill and i usually come back down i might go a little bit further today because it's a nice day but um like i always say hills don't show it's a shame hills don't show but it is a hill um <laughs> so i'll go up to the top of there but I expect this bike to get up there really easily because it, it was it was quite easy. Um, I think it's classed as a 250 watt, uh, 250 watt sort of constant power and peaks at around 350 watts. So, like if I didn't have that twist throttle on it, this is a completely legal legal in the UK e-bike. Anyway, let's get up there. Right, okay, let's get going. Right, okay, here we go up the hill. I better go up the top of the hill first and try the old brake test before I come back down. And then I think I'll go over to the, the right, down a hill, up a hill, and go a bit further that way. Looks like the sun's coming out again, which is quite nice. <laughs> it does go a little bit chilly when the sun goes in, but when the sun comes out, it's lovely and warm. So let's get right to the top of the hill, up there. Right, okay, I've made it up to the top of the hill, so we're going back down. Let's get a little bit of speed up. We'll do a brake test. Like I said before, it's not scientific at all. It's just a laugh. So what are we doing? Ready, steady, brake. Oh, <laughs> I do like a good brake test. Now, let's have a quick look behind me if I can see anything. Oh, I'll, uh, let's back up like this. There we go. All the way back up here, you can see where the brake started, and I'll stop right by there. That's where we broke. So, there we go. That's how good the brakes are. I don't know if that tells you how good the brakes are or not. All I can tell you is it stopped me, so that's good enough for me. Anyway, let's go down there. Now, the only problem with nice weather is when you go fast down a hill. There's more bugs and stuff flying around, so they tend to go in your face. But uh, I shouldn't moan about the nice weather. So let's get down this hill. Right, here we go, another big hill. Let's get up this hill as well. Start putting a bit of pedal power in. This is quite steep as well, but it's making it easy, very easy. 
and uh, the rolling resistance of this bike is quite good as well because the the wheels are quite light they haven't got big thick tires so it is quite easy to pedal the bike is easy to pedal if you turn the power off trying to pedal the bike yourself even without the uh, battery power is quite easy right so we'll go up by you a little bit and then we'll have a look at the view i'll show you what kefili is looking like from the mountains today right okay i've just pulled over and there's a nice lovely view just to the right of me by there so let's have a look what it looks like there we go that's the view i got at the moment look see the sheep in the fields quite nice isn't it looks beautiful on a, on a nice sunny day all the mountains i'm trying to see if i can pick out anything i'm trying to see kefili castle is somewhere somewhere along there somewhere but i can't quite see it at the moment uh where is it <laughs> i'm not quite sure it might be down that. no i must be over there somewhere uh where is it if i find it i'll point it out but i can't see it at the moment anyway so and you probably can't see it on the camera either so there we go that's the view i got so all the links for the one sport ot18 will be down below in the description so check it out anyway Let's go a bit further onwards.